Food Fridays on Fox 24 News Now. Sponsored by U.S. Food Chef Store. Great food, wholesale prices. Well, you get a twofer on this week's Food Friday. If you love ethnic cuisine as much as I do, you're going to have to check out two new spots, Malika Canteen in Mount Pleasant and the soon-to-be-opened Mam Saab downtown. Joining us are the co-founders, Rahil Galba and Mariam Gonzavi. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so absolutely. this is very exciting. You know, people love the idea of ethnic food and just exploring a whole different culture, which I think your restaurants will certainly do. Let's start with Malika Canteen, shall we? Um, first of all, you're located in Mount Pleasant, so this is a first for Mount Pleasant. It's really a first for South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're the first Pakistani restaurant in South Carolina, uh, as far as we know, and um, we just wanted to put our flags down. We've lived in Charleston for about 15 years, and um, and we've always craved Pakistani food. So we would drive to Atlanta, we would drive to Charlotte, and now it's awesome because we hear families driving in from Charlotte, Atlanta, yeah. Jacksonville, yeah. over to Charleston to have our food. Uh, so it's just been an amazing journey. And quite frankly, this all started at the workshop. Tell us a bit more about this. Do you want um, we were actually Mamsa actually kind of began as a pop-up um, back in 2020, I believe. 2019. 2019. 2019 yeah. um, and we were we started doing pop-ups out of the daily, um, and then we kind of when the pandemic hit, um, we just started doing delivery. We said let's try a delivery um, uh, platform, and that picked up. We moved into work uh, workshop, and yeah. since then it's you know the rest is history. It's, we we were. We were so busy and at workshop that we were, by the time when the workshop decided to close this year, we knew that we had to have a brick and mortar. People were coming and saying, we will go hungry. Where are you going to be? So we have uh, tried to compile um, some of the comfort foods like chicken biryanis um, with some of the, a lot of the street, street food and especially this being a chai canteen. So chai um, is a big part of our culture back home. Um, chai is something you start your day with, you end your day with, you end your meal with, you start your meal with, um, you take a break you know, from shopping and do that. So chai, a lot of these small snacks that like uh, tapas and chalas and snacks, they go with a chai very well. Yeah. Um, so we have done a pretty good um, blend of some small snacks that go with the chai. Um, and then some comfort foods like chicken tikka rolls and uh, biryanis as well. And, yeah. and of so course, if you chai, went chai is a beverage. What exactly is chai? Is it a tea? Is it mixed with something? What is it exactly? It is, it is um, tea, but it's, um, we actually brew it with the milk and sugars all in, so it, and the spices as well. So it has its own unique uh, flavor to it, and it goes so beautifully because it has like cardamoms and uh, fennel seeds in there. It goes perfectly with the food because it also has similar um, spices to it. Very aromatic, exotic spices. And you mentioned Absolutely. street food, and street food is such an important part of your culture. Why is that? Go ahead. So, you know, if you, if, if you came to Pakistan with us, which we plan to go next year, <laughs> and we took you out shopping, and you would find these street vendors. You may not find them in the same spot the next day, they would be in a completely different place. But when you go shopping, a big part of the experience is every store, they're gonna ask you to sit, they're gonna present you with chai. So literally you'll have like 10 cups of chai if you go to 10 <laughs> stores, and there's food vendors all around you, so that's what you're snacking on all the time, and that's what we have in our chat section, the small plate section. Yeah. And then if you're in for a larger meal, uh, then you would go out literally on the street sides, you would have these uh, shami buns uh, that we have on the menu, chicken tikka rolls, and we're planning on introducing quite a few more items as we get staffed up. Uh, but all of those things, you can, we bring you to the streets of Pakistan when you walk through these doors. That's wonderful. Yeah. We try our best to keep it as home cooked as well. Um, with both restaurants, Mamsup and here, mm -hmm. our biggest philosophy has been that we have not um, commercialized our food. Mm -hmm. So the way I was making it at home, the way my parents were making it, we're trying to make it the same way uh, without any compromises. Um, yes. 
fresh and That's the fresh handmade bat. nature of, of the food as well. Yeah. I cannot wait to try it. Raheel and Mariam, I want to thank you both so much for joining us. And right now, you can go to Mount Pleasant Malika Canteen. Uh, it's open Tuesday through Friday from 4 to 9 p.m., Saturday and Sunday as well. For more information, we'll have the website up on our screen. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks wonderful. for having us. We're back after this.